<clears throat> Hello. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hello, good evening. Uh, okay, how are you today, guys? Good. Okay, so we have Edwin, Carol. Hi. Hello. Then we have uh, Marilyn. Then we have Carla. Carla Chapman. Here you are again. Good. Good, good to see you. Norma. Hello. Okay, good. Good, good. Fine. Okay. Where were we yesterday, right? Yesterday we were talking about frequency adverbs. Okay, words that express, okay, the frequency in which we perform or in which we do some things, right? Let me see, adverbs of frequency. This is a little slow. Okay, finally. Okay. Uh, I always, at the beginning of the class, I always repeat, right, a little bit of the previous class so that we can remember, okay, uh, what we did last night. Okay, in this moment, I'm going to play the video about frequency adverbs. Uh, pay attention to the pronunciation, intonation, the new words, right? And when the video finishes, okay, you can ask me questions. Okay, so now just uh, listen, please. At the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverbs of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, 
I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay. How often do you do any sports activity? Okay. How often do we do some things, right? Then what is the best way to practice the frequency adverbs is a organizing, for example, the ideas and the routines, okay? The daily routines, okay? What are some daily routines? Let me... Take yeah. a shower. Take a shower. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Breakfast. Oh, Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Okay, wait. Let me give me a second. Let me get your ideas. Okay. Yes, routines we say, for example, take a shower. Okay. Have breakfast. Uh, what else? Get up. Uh, Get up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go to bed. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go to work. Go to. Go to work. Uh -huh. What else? Have have a lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Okay, what else? Um, take a bus. Did you make a dinner? Take a take a take a bus. Take a bus. Make dinner. The pronunciation. Lavar los dientes. Se me olvidado. Brush. <laughs> brush. Brush. Wait. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth. Brush my teeth, uh huh. Okay. Watch TV. Watch uh, TV. Watch TV. Cleaning okay. in the house. Clean the house. Okay, clean the house. Drink a cup of coffee. Drink. Go to supermarket. Drink coffee. Go to. Go to the supermarket. Do the super, right? To the, to the supermarket. Okay. These are, you know, some daily activities, right? And then um, we can probably um, organize them by, let's say, priorities or by probably the time, right? But when they happen in the day. But for example, the, the first thing, which is the number one here? Number one is get up. Get right? up. Yeah. What would be the number two? Uh, make, uh, have a breakfast? No. Mm. Uh, take, uh, take, take a shower. Take a shower. It, it depends. You know, it depends. In some cases, can be make breakfast and then take a shower, right? In other mm -hmm. cases, could be the opposite. But let's say that first you take a shower. Okay, what would be the number two? The number three? Brush my teeth. Uh, brush my teeth. Ah, oh, yes, and the breakfast. Okay. Okay, breakfast. Well, that would be something like this. No problem. Okay. Number three. What else? Uh, have a breakfast. Breakfast. Mm. Let's see, have breakfast. Okay, let's say number four. Now, what happens here? Go to sometimes, work. Go to work. Okay. Then what happens sometimes is this that you can say, uh, I always get up. I usually get up. 
At, let's oh. say, in my case, for example, I usually get up at 4.45. Okay. I usually get up Five forty-five. Sorry, four. Four forty-five a.m. Why usually? Because it's Monday to Friday. Okay. Not always. Usually. Mm -hmm. Only five days a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday, I get up at a different time. Okay, Sunday, uh, Saturday. Uh -huh, Saturday, I get up at six. Okay, on, uh -huh, sun, Sundays, I get up, get up at seven, sometimes at eight. Uh -huh. Then here is when you begin using, for example, always, okay, uh, usually, uh, let's say often, okay, uh, sometimes, never, or never, never, okay. Entre estas hay muchas no. más, okay, hay otras, right? Friendly. La de almost always, okay, almost always, frequently, okay. But let's see, for example, always is, in this case, 100 percent of the times, right? Mm -hmm. Usually, more or less, uh, eighty, right? Eighty percent. In, in this case, in this case, right? Eighty percent. Then we have often and sixty. Okay. And then here we have forty. I use intermediate, Sometime. right? Forty. You can use uh, usually, and then never is definitely, you can 30%. say, zero. Awesome. Never. Okay. So, I keep it uh, to be 75, probably 50, 25. Okay. That could be another one, 35, 50, and 75. But this is more or less the idea, right? How you reduce the frequency, the frequency of activities. Okay, what else? Now, tell me, for example, something that you, that you, you, that you do, that you do uh, probably uh, frequently, often, or never. For example, from this list, uh, let me see. Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. For example, I sometimes I sometimes make dinner. Okay, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, not always. Uh, I never take a bus. Okay, I never take a bus. I I never go to bed early. Okay, I can write another sentence here. I never go to go to bed early. Mm -hmm. I always I always go to bed late. Always go to bed late. What else? Uh, I sometimes make dinner. Okay, I sometimes, sometimes on weekends. Okay, uh, I often go to the supermarket. Okay. So 
So here you can see, for example, some activities that I do during a week, during a day, during a month, and the frequency, okay? And the frequency. Now, what can you say about this? What sentences? What other sentences can you do? Can you create? Using always, usually, often, and sometimes. Okay, I made someone tell me some sentences. Okay, do you see any of these words? Okay, something, Robert, Roberto Suarez. Okay, tell me a sentence. Using always, usually, often, sometimes, or never. I never lie for God. I never? I, I, okay, Robert, go ahead. I, I always go to the gym. Or <clears throat> I always <clears throat> go to the to the, see the gym. Okay. <clears throat> good, that's a good sentence. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, that's a good one. What else? I always go to the gym. <clears throat> um, teacher, we often mm -hmm. go to Houston. We often go to Houston. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Another one? Do you always <laughs> come to, to class late? Who? Do you always come to class late? Really? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> always come to class late. Yes, it's true. One or two minutes. Okay, you always come to class always, late. I always uh, is correct, cook the dinner. Yes, I always cook dinner. I always make dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say, I always tell the truth. Yes. I always tell the truth. Okay? Siempre digo la verdad, aun cuando miento. Okay. Me, me acabo de acordar de la película de cara cortada, de Scarface. <laughs> He says, I always tell the truth, even when I lie. Okay, so then. So, but then you see, I always tell the truth. Okay, but this is uh, something that we teach, something that we teach to the children, right? Uh, the always tell the truth, right? What else? They don't usually eat in the cafeteria. Okay, they don't usually eat in the cafeteria, yes. Hardly. <clears throat> I often go to the multiplaza. I often go to multiplaza, okay. I often go to the mall. Yes. I usually get up at 4 4.30. 4.30 a.m. 4.30 a.m. Okay, good. Yes. Ready? I always have a cup cup of coffee at 3 p.m. Okay, very good, Romeo, okay. I have my cup of coffee around 4, 4 p.m. Okay. Yes, ready. With always. Mm -hmm. Okay, I always go, go out with my pet in the morning. Okay, I always go out with my pet in the morning, okay? Good. Okay, so you see, this is how you can express 
but this is very personal the information right because you only you know if it is always sometimes usually or never okay for example i i let's say i i always drink coffee monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday Sunday. so i always drink coffee so i drink coffee all the time okay but for example i don't know Arely, do you drink coffee every day yes okay i drink i drink i always drink coffee uh, twice week twice a week no, twice day. A, a day twice a day, a day. okay a day. You see, for example, yes, I always drink coffee twice a day. Okay, excellent. Okay, now questions about the frequency adverbs in this moment? No. Okay, okay, good. Then we are going to go back to the platform and we are going to do the exercise. And this one. Okay. So here we have the knowledge check, okay? This is like a little quiz, right? About the, about the topic. So we have read, read the following prompts, choose the response in which the adverb in brackets is placed correctly. Okay, do you play sports? And then ever, which of these three is correct? Do you ever play a sport? Do you ever, the first one, yes? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Si alguien tiene una diferente opinión, let me know, okay? We have a different opinion. Number two, sure, I play soccer twice a week. The third Twice one. Twice a week. Yeah. Sure. Uh huh. The second. The third one. The third one. Yeah. Sure. sure. I play soccer twice, twice a, week. a week. Yes. Okay. How about number three? What do you do on Saturday morning? What do you usually? Do? The first one. What do the you? The first one. Do? What do? You... On the morning. What do you say usually? The, the first one? Mm -hmm. What do you usually? Okay, remember that, for example, when we say uh, a, here, you say you usually do on Saturday morning. Okay, always goes between, okay, do you usually do? Okay, four. Number four. Second. Nothing much. I sleep until noon. Almost always. I almost always. The second the one. Second. Nothing, second much. Much. Nothing much. Nothing much. Nothing okay. much. I almost. I almost always sleep until <laughs> noon. How about number five? Second. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Okay. Six. Oh, I hardly ever do aerobics. I number three. It's no secret. I hardly ever do aerobic. The, number three. the third one. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How about number seven? Do you exercise on Sunday always? Do you always exercise on the Sunday? The first. The first, okay. Number eight. Second. 
the second. No, I never exercise on Sunday. No, I never no, exercise. No, I never. Okay. On Sunday. How about number nine? What do you usually do? What do you usually do? Okay, yes. What do you do? What do you usually do after class? Okay. And the number 10? My classmates. About three times a week. I go out with my classmates. Oh, three times a week. About the time, sorry. This one? Third one, yes. 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 Okay. okay, are you sure? Yes or yes? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Good. I'm sure, teacher. Very good. Let's see. Voila. Yes. <laughs> okay. We did 50. it. Yeah, we did it. We did it again. <laughs> We did it again, right? So we have this one is correct. You can see the green one here. No problem. Okay. What did we practice here? ¿Qué practicamos acá? Two, two things. Write the sentence. Uh -huh, two things, right? The vocabulary. Okay. The vocabulary ever, twice. Frequency adverbs, right? Actually, usually, almost always, oh often, hardly ever, always, never, usually, and three times a week. And the position. Yes. Okay, that's very important. Okay, two things. Identify the frequency, the frequency adverbs and the position, where to place them. Okay, so this is the intention of this exercise is to help you identify the word and the position. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to go on to the next topic now, which is listen to intonation with direct address, and this helps sound natural when speaking. This is pronunciation. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. In this session, this session participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. In this session, pretty I feel... Okay, so here is the... To give the right intonation to sentences, right? When you say, you're really fit, Paul. Okay, she looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, uh, you can say also, you look... You look great. Okay, you look great, Anthony. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, she looks, for example, he looks, he looks, uh, he looks old. Okay, he looks old, uh, John. So the idea is that here, after the sentence, you have a comma, a little pose, and this pose, <laughs> then you have the name. Okay? This is for intonation, pronunciation. Feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. I think this is just a 
a tip for you to to learn. And now we're gonna have notice questions with how and short answers. Okay. Eh, don't forget to no se les olvide apagar el micrófono si no lo están usando para que no haya interferencia, right? Now let's see this one here. Listen and follow a conversation about fitness. Notice questions with how and short answers. Pay attention to the intonation. Okay, pay attention to the intonation. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. I'll give you a few tips. Now, listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. That okay, so here you have, it says, you're in great shape, Keith. Okay, that's the, the name of the guy, right? You're in great shape, Keith. Okay, this is what we were practicing in the previous video. Oh, listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? What? How often do you work out? 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 Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Well, I do aerobics twice a week. Well, I do well, aerobics, I do aerobics, aerobics twice, twice, a twice a week. Mm -hmm. Twice a week. And I play tennis every 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 week. And I play tennis. tennis every week. That sounds like a lot of fun. Tennis. That sounds like a lot of fun. Tennis. That sounds like a lot of fun. Like a lot of fun. And then you see the intonation, right? Tennis. That sounds like a lot of fun. Tennis. That sounds like a lot of fun. Exactly, right? You see, that's the intonation. Good. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, do you want to play some time? Oh, do you want to play some time? Oh, do you want to play some time? Uh, how well do you play? Uh, how well do you play? Oh, how well do you play? Oh, well do you play? Hence, right? Say, oh, how well do you play? Oh, how well do you play? How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, Pretty well, well I, guess. I guess. Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. Well, well all right, right, but I'm not very good. But I'm not very good. Very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. No problem. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. 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 Remember that, for example, in the last one, so we said tips, not tips. 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 Uh -huh. Es una, es una, una I relajada. 
You say sit. You say sit. Lash. No, it's, no, it's, no, it's tensa. Okay, so you say T, 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 S is la, la, la I nuestra. Okay, but in this case, it's tips. Tips. Tips, uh -huh, tips. I give you a few tips. No, a few tips. Okay, I give you a few tips. A few tips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, questions about the vocabulary? <clears throat> Impressions, new words? No problem with it? Uh, what is... Uh, would I check, check the first sentence? Shape. Shape. Uh -huh. Good form. Mm -hmm. When you are in good, you are fit, you are in good shape, in good form. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así como yo, forma redonda, right? Good form. Mm -hmm. great, great form. No, no. Fit? Mm -hmm. Who is fit? Check. Probably, uh, who is fit? You understand great shape? Un actor o actress? Eh, uh -huh. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, right? You can see, you know, he's in, he's in great shape. Okay, Brad well, Pitt. Brad Pitt, right? Uh -huh. Then you can say he's in great shape. Okay? Good. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how do you say I will? Pero así en la forma contractada. How? Al. 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 I'll give you a tip. I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you a few tips. I'll give you a few tips. Yes. Now listen. Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few. I'll give you. I'll give you a few tips. I'll give you. I'll give, give you a few tips. Like if you say I'll. Como que por una, right? I'll. I'll give you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you. Yes, what else? Uh, free. Finis. Frit. Freak. Yes. Fitness. Fitness, well. Uh -huh. Fitness, uh, fitness is to be in shape. No estar uh -huh. en forma, right? Fitness. Uh -huh. Pero okay. freak, freak is when you have an, an obsession. Uh -huh. okay? uh -huh. When you are obsessed. You say, I am a fit, uh -huh. fitness freak. Uh, okay. you, know, you have obsession for to be fit. You know, so to be fit. Uh, also, control freak. Then you are you have an obsession to have control of everything, okay? For example, when a when a person is jealous, okay, when a person is jealous, they want to have uh, the control of the of his wife or her husband, right? Men or women. So then you are a control freak, or in the office, or in your house, that you want to have the control of everything, right? So then that is control freak, okay? So mm. that's a freak is like to be, to have an obsession, okay? To be crazy about, okay? You say, for example, uh, mon money freak, a person that is, yeah, I, everything is money in, in his life, in their life, right? Say, okay, I want money, more money, more money, more money, more money. Everything is money, so you are money freak. Okay. 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 Yeah. Ambitious. <laughs> yeah, more than that, <laughs> you know, more than that. because the uh, ambitious sometimes ambitious can be positive. For example, mm -hmm. in this moment you are studying English because you have an ambition that is positive. Okay. Okay. But in this uh, case, teacher. in this case, it's negative. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, could this use uh, is a. Uh, is a word similar for for a money freak? Probably, probably. Yes, because you want codicious. Uh, uh huh. Yes, like you want more and more and more. Yeah, mm -hmm. that could be. Yes. Uh -huh. You see, but it's it's, uh, it's bad. more. It's bad. Yes, and have to be. It's bad. Because it's not, not, uh, you don't, you're not gonna think about money all the time. Okay, there are other important things in life. Mm -hmm. Right, like a sleeping. Okay, you better sleep and rest. 
and not to work too much sometimes. Okay, good. Teacher, uh, mm -hmm. the word sounds like. Sounds like. Sounds, sounds. like. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sounds like. That sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, eso me suena bien. Me suena como. Ah, sounds, sounds de like sonido. A, yes. Okay. Okay. That sounds like fun. Hey, tomorrow we're going to sing a song, okay, in the class. We're going to have only singing, karaoke in the class. Oh, that's, <laughs> okay. that sounds like fun, right? Sounds like fun. Okay? So yes, sounds like fun. Hey, what else? For example, uh, in this expression, sounds like, you can use it in many situations, right? Okay, uh, tomorrow I'm going to give you a list of 100 verbs and you are going to write a sentence with each verb. You say, oh my God, that sounds like a lot of work. Okay, that, that sounds like, a, like a too much work. Okay, so then this is sounds like. So it can be in different situations. <clears throat> In present, teacher. That's in present. That sounds like. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, usually, let me see, yes, that it's in present for something that is going to happen in the future, right? They, this is for tomorrow, but you say that sounds like because I am saying in this moment, in present, what it is going to happen tomorrow. It seems, sounds like this, sounds like that. Okay. For example, they say that, uh, I don't know, they say that, uh, un rumor, digan un rumor. Okay, and ahorita they say, they say that, dicen que, they red say. Al red alert for, uh, for rain. Okay, they say that there is a red alert for another storm. That sounds like what? Suena a que. That sounds like. Okay. That sounds like uh, for me, for teachers, they say, oh, that sounds like more vacation. Okay. <laughs> then because no classes, they stop classes in the school. Really, say, teacher? Really? Yes, in the school, in the schools, <laughs> when they, when they, uh, they stop classes, nothing. We don't. I mean. You, you don't teach, you cannot, no homework, nothing. Okay. Right, only, only if the room or... Uh-huh, yes, yes. I know. Okay, but then you say, hey, that sounds like more vacation, or that sounds like another week in the house. Or, that sounds like another, another, uh, some more days in the house. Okay? okay? Or you can say, or you can also say, uh, hey, there is a red, they say there is a red alert next uh, week for the rain. Ah, oh, that sounds like a rumor. Suena como un rumor, okay? Then you can also say that, okay? Thank so in different situations, not just one. Yeah, let me see what else that's it. Two tips. Okay, here it says, now in this section, you will see, uh, watch and study questions with how. Okay, that video is the introduction and here comes the, the practice. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How. 
how often, how long. They refer to times or frequency. How well, how good. They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. How? How often? How long? How good are you at Now listen. Now listen. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So when we have how often, we're talking about the frequency. How frequently we do some things. How often? Every day, twice a week, not very often. Uh, usually once a day, every hour. Okay, for example, how often do you, let's say, uh, do you drink water? Depends, right? It can be every hour, every five minutes, okay? And depends on the activity. If we are in the gym, probably every 10 minutes, okay? Or every 15 minutes, a sip of water. How long is, how often is for the, let's say the frequency, how long is the length of time? Length, is, length of time means the, the, the period of time that we do things, right? The period of time. Then say, how long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes, one hour, two hours. How long do you spend driving from your house to your office? Okay, uh, 30 minutes without traffic. Probably one hour and a half with traffic. Okay, two hours with a lot of traffic. Okay, so then this is <coughs> how long. How well is the, usually for, let's say, um, abilities that we have. How well do you speak English? How well do you write in Spanish? Okay, how well do you read in English? Okay, how well do you cook? Okay, how well do you prepare a cup of coffee? Okay, then you say pretty well, about average, so-so. And then you say, nah, not very well. Okay, and how good are you is also, okay, uh, for example, the, let's say the, yes, also similar the ability that you have for doing things, but you put an adjective. In the how well is the action. And here is how good you are at doing something. For example, how good are you at cooking? Okay, for example, well, I, I am really good. I am pretty good. I am not so good. Okay? Yes, teacher. Uh-huh. How long is como cuánto tiempo? Exactly. How well is, que bien. Mm -hmm. Que también. Que también. Mm -hmm. Que también. And, then, and how good will be like, que tan bueno eres. Oh, okay. And que también haces esto, o que tan bueno eres en esto. Okay, that would be how well and how good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right, then. The next one is, here you have the four questions. How often do you go to English class? Okay, how often do you get happy? How often, okay, do you, uh, let's say, do you read a book? Okay, look at the four questions. How often, how long, how well, and how good?
Teacher, how do you say acá llueve? Uh, it's raining. It's raining. Rain. It's raining, yes. It's I guess raining. it is. Yes, it was raining here two minutes ago, mm -hmm. but only only some some little drops, but now no more. Okay, what else? How often? How often does it rain in, uh, near your house? How often does it rain? Uh, this weekend? Mm -hmm. um, for three times. Three times, okay. Uh, last weekend, three times, yes. Mm -hmm. The last here, weekend? Yes. Yes, it was the same here. Three, like two, three times it was raining, okay. Mm -hmm. But after the weekend, not raining, nothing. Okay, good. Now we're going to practice the question, how good? Okay, uh, mm -hmm. let me see, yes, in the chat. If you say, how good? How good are you at cooking? What was the question in the platform, do you remember? How good? What was the question? How good are you at mm -hmm. cooking? This one, right? How good are you at cooking? Okay, mm. how good are you at <clears throat> okay. ¿Quién me dice la diferencia en esa, en esa pregunta? No, usen la observación y la gramática. Okay. What's the difference in those two uh, questions? How good are you at cooking and how good are you at tennis? Is a person, person bear? Which one? Uh, in first. In the first, uh-huh. Uh -huh. There is a what? There is a bear. The, the cooking is a cooking. present continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, more or less. Uh -huh. And in the other one? In the first sentence? Uh, is action. The first one is action. Uh -huh. Is action. And, and the, the second? second is action. The second is the, se is the second. Um, activity, activity, the two are activities. Okay. Huh? The one is an action and the other one is? Okay. Uh, uh, which one, Joel? Uh, ability. Mm -hmm. Okay, in grammar we say for cooking is a verb, yes? And tennis? Yes. The action. The sport. A sport. Uh -huh. And what is a sport, Joel? Okay, for example, cooking equals oops equals verb. Okay. And tennis equals uh, equals K. Action. Mm, the action is the cooking. Uh, uh, the activity. Yes, it's an activity. Huh? Pero tiene un nombre. <clears throat> ya se lo dije. Ah. Uh, is a, a practice when you say for example exercise. Ca car chair a house Target. Mm, house a table computer 
Eh, the words. Ajá. The object. Ajá. ¿Cómo se le llama eso en gramática? Verb. No. no. Verb is the cooking. Nouns. Nouns. That's correct. Nouns. ¿Quién, di ¿Quién dijo nouns? ¿Quién dijo nouns? nouns. Nor Norma. Y Norma. Yes, no. Okay, very good. Nouns. nouns. Nombre. Sustantivo. 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 Okay. And nouns. then, the thing is, for example, when you use the question, how good are you? You can use a noun or you can use a verb y el verbo va a estar en ing, pero no es presente continuo, ¿ok? It's not present continuo. Gramática. This, oh, uh, gramática. this is gerundio, ¿ok? Gerund. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? It's not, porque ahí no, no está, de decir, por ejemplo, he is cooking, I am cooking. No está conjugando. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. How good are you at cooking? Mm -hmm. How good are you at playing? At playing poker. How good are you at playing domino? Okay. How good are you at uh, singing? Okay. ¿Qué tan bueno es para cantar? And then you can say, for example, how good are you at soccer? How good are you at uh, video games? Okay. Okay. How good are you at, uh, let's see, at, um, what else? Uh, so help me, help me. How good are you at Basketball. Dance. Dancing. Uh -huh. basketball. At, at basketball. Okay. Yes. Okay. So how good are you at listening to people? Okay. How good are you at paying attention to children? Okay. How good are you at, uh, at marriage? Okay. Then uh, how good are you? Whatever. Okay. So but then Nouns and ing verbs. Si vamos a la acción, in ing. How good are you at? Cualquier acción que voy a poner, ing. Okay? Cooking, playing, working, studying, listening, speaking, uh, reading, writing, uh, running, driving. How good hearing. are you? Uh, hearing. Okay. How good are you at driving, Norma? Excuse me, teacher. How good are you at driving? I, I drive in very good. <laughs> then you say, yes, I'm, I'm really, no, yes, that's good. I'm really, then you say, I'm really good. I'm really good. Okay. I am oh, really, I'm, yeah. I am <laughs> really good. Okay. I am really good. Okay, good. Uh, but Saida, how good are you are driving? How, how good are you at driving? I am a, tra a, tra a trailer. I I'm really not good driving. Why? <laughs> Do you have a car? I can't. No, oh. not ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> I don't have. <sighs> Gracias a Dios, right? You don't have a car <laughs> <laughs> because, because you can because you can drive. Okay, but you can learn. How good are you at learning? How good are learning. you at learning? Qué bueno, qué tan bueno para aprender. How good are you at learning? Um, um, so, not very well. <laughs> not so good. Okay, so say not so good. Okay, more or less. Not so good. Not, not so, good. so good. Okay. Then, but driving is easy. Don't worry, okay? Driving is only <laughs> control your mind, okay? And your nerves. One day. <laughs> yeah, someday, no problem. Okay, good. And Noel. How good, Noel, how good are you at running? I'm really good. Okay, running. where do you live? <laughs> so I'm really good at running. Okay, really good. You say I'm really good. I'm okay, really good. And let's see, Flor, Flor Argentina. Now, Flor Argentina, you remind me of Maradona now, it's Argentina. Okay, uh, uh, Flor, Flora, uh, how good are you at, uh, let's see, uh, typing? Typing, o sea, como escribir o chatear. Mm. Um, very good. Very good, okay, very good. Okay, so you see, very good, really good, and nice. 
Okay, so these questions, guys, for tomorrow, that's what we're going to practice, okay? How good, how often, how well, and how long? How long? How long, the time, okay? Okay. But, okay. but tomorrow, okay, today I practice with how good, but tomorrow you're going to make conversations in groups using the four questions, okay? Okay. Make, in the beginning, I'm going to make groups, and then you are going to have uh, to make a conversation. Hey, how long do you do this? How long do you do that? How often? How good? How well? Practicing all these questions and the answers, okay? okay. Remember, tomorrow, Friday, we have a class, okay? Okay. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.